Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about how we can integrate chat GPT with AWS Lambda. Okay guys, for this today's session I will cover like how we can create a AWS Lambda and how we can create a AWS Lambda layer and then finally I will show you how we can integrate Lambda with the chat GPT. Okay guys, so let's jump to that uh, this uh, uh, chat GPT console. This is the development API console and in my previous session I have already talked about how we can uh, work with the chat GPT, how we can use it basically for the beginners. Now this is like one, one step advanced like how we can integrate chat GPT with AWS Lambda or AWS. Okay guys. So I have already logged in here as a user cloud tech and if you see here is the overview of this chat GPT and this is the documentation part and this is the API reference. To integrate in a, like with your application uh, what we need like this python uh, open AI this uh, dependency we need basically uh, we have to install this dependency wherever you want to integrate okay guys. So uh, if you want to install, if you see like Python, this is the version, uh, open API version, I am going to use 0.27.9 to our AWS Lambda and this dependency will install as a AWS Lambda layers, okay guys. So in my previous video, I have already talked about how we can create a AWS Lambda layer. In this session, I will just quickly show you that uh, uh, like how we can create the Lambda layer uh, with this dependency. For more details, I will recommend guys, please have a look my AWS Lambda layers video. Okay guys, so let me show you that. So this is the open API version and I am using this one and uh, what the step we need to, if you don't have pip3, then we, have, we can install by using this command. Then what we are going to do from the requirement.txt, whatever version we are mentioning that, right? we'll store, we'll install in this Python folder and that, that Python folder will zip it and then once it is zipped then we will copy this uh, zip to AWS S3 and from the S3 we will use as a uh, lambda layer okay guys so let's go one by one so I have logged in here okay let me see my EC2 instance okay it is running IP address. Let's log in here. Edit session. By mobile extreme, I am connecting this issue to instance. So, guys, if you have any doubt how we can connect mobile extreme, I have already demonstrated. You can have a look that also. Issue to instance. CD. The requirement dot text I have copied here. So in this what we have, let me show you that. So I have like OpenAI that version and request these two dependency I have, and then what we can do like let me show you by pip3 install command. Right, this is the command we can install all the dependency whatever we have mentioned in the requirement dot text we can install in the Python folder. If you hit this one, it will install everything there. So it's saying all the dependency already there, right? You see, already exist, already exist, right? So now once it is there, right? So what we can do? Let me go to this. Now this python we can zip also. So. This is the command to zip that. So all the dependency whatever it is there it will zip there. And if you see we will get one zip dot this zip file then what we can do. We can copy that. AWS S3. So to copy from here to AWS S3 either, either you have to give the permission like EC2 S3 access or you have to do the AWS S3 uh, like CLI configure. So that two video I have already demonstrated in my previous session how we can access S3 from EC2 instance. You guys can have looked that or how we can configure CLI 
that also I have demonstrated that link those two links I will give this in this video register if you just hit this one then it will copy to this zip folder to our S3 bucket I have already copied so no need to copy again so now go here Three, let me show you that. This is the S3. I have only one bucket. And this is the our module we have copied. Okay, guys. So this is the one we are going to use for our lambda layers. Okay, let me show you how we can use it. So I have here already lambda go to the lambda and if you go to here right we have like lambda how we can create a lambda layer right so if you just click on create function and let's go to the lambda again back here you can see the lambda layers right from this lambda layers we can create a lambda layer so i have already created one lambda la layers in my previous video for ready session so in that only i can uh, like pass this uh, whatever chat gpt one right i have uh, deploy that whatever dependence we have for chat GPT right I have pasted here so how we can uh, attach this so let me show you that if you just click on create version and here if you just upload from S3 and if you give that uh, whatever S3 bucket we have right that link so let me show you that this link if you just copy here and if you give the description and version then it will create one more version for this uh, dependence okay guys so you guys can refer that uh, AWS Lambda layer video for more details. Okay, I am not going to create now. So I've just quickly from high level, I've just give you uh, the details. Now let's go to the Lambda function. So AWS Lambda. Let's create one Lambda function. Chat GPT, okay. And let's select the Python version here, 3.9. Let's click on create. Okay. So it is creating. Meantime, let me go to the API reference. What we need here basically to integrate this one, we need, let me show you how we can take. So let's go to the playground here. And here, right side, if you see model, chat, or complete, if you click here and then we'll hear the defined version gp3 version now we have like a, if you click on more there are multiple is there but the more recent is this one text that this is like a second generation model in this gp3 series can be performed many tasks in the earlier gp3 model can and offer the less content in this and other token per request up to 4000 token you can make by using this request and if you go to other one so let me show you that other one here also you can do this thing here also same thing other may defined version is there so for this today session let's select this one once we have this one in this place you can see the view code right we can open this one then it will display all the code section so what we can do we can copy this code and whatever lambda function we created here so come down here and So do one thing, this import OS, take out from out and okay. This is done, this is done. Here we need prompt and API key. So API key by this, uh, we can configure the environment. So let me show you that how and prompt also, what you would like to search here, right? So let me show you that here many things you can search so let me just prompt whatever prompt like how here we are searching right whatever we are giving who current CEO of data. So this is the question, right? Same thing we can give the prompt. Then if you see here, Steve, this this is the Teradata CEO it is showing, right? So something like that. So let me give this question there as a prompt, okay? 
and we'll see by chat gpt uh, from the chat gpt it is coming or not that will will match also the response okay guys so let's go to the here and prompt here we have right so let's give the prompt here okay and let's keep everything same let's deploy and let me create this guy also open key okay so go to the configuration environment variable and edit that environment variable here we have to give the key how we can get the key so let's go to our pi section here let's close this and let's click on profile and view api key i have already created one key so for this today session let's create one more so Click on create now. It is created. Same key we can copy and we can paste here and we can save also. Okay, guys, now our key is ready. Now our code deployment also done. So let's test this one. Save this one. Now hit syntax error. What is this? Error messages. Some spaces indentation is there. Okay. Okay. Do one thing. this to do implementation here also and let's move little bit this one and now deploy outside functions okay Response here. We no need return type also. That is not required as of now for this demo. So we'll print that. Okay, guys. So let's test this. Okay, no name now. Lambda no module name OpenAI, right? So why? Because this OpenAI this dependency is not able to found. So now this dependency will add in the AWS Lambda layers. Okay. So let's add here. Specific ERN. Let's uh, so go to the lambda. Here we can we have we have already created right the layers right. So let's click on layers and if you go inside the layers, we can able to see the ERN. This is the ERN we have to copy. This is the latest ERN which is Chat GPT one. So let's copy this ERN and paste here in this ERN section. Then. We can verify also it is a valid or not. If you see it is a valid, whatever description we have given, if you checked here, this is our description, right? So it is coming here, Chat GPT, right? So let's add this. Okay, it's adding. Okay, it is added. Now do one thing. Let's. Uh, we have this is the response, right? So let me print this response. Let's try. Now test it. Hope this open AI that the dependency error will be gone. Let's see what else is going. Okay, some other error. Timeout. Oh, timeout, timeout, timeout. The name, name, response is not declared. Oh, what is this? Response is not declared. The response right why it is showing not declared time out error response is not defined why it is saying not defined it's 
starting frame is on. Here it is coming. Let's try here one more time. Response is not defined. Do one thing, guys. So we can declare the response outside as a universal variable. Okay, and then we can try here. Some content request actually that indentation issue is coming right so do one thing this function without function also we can do because that formatted issue is coming right so what we can do otherwise let me show you let's copy this code and do format in that id how we can format so let me create one file here jpt remote.py ok and c right here this c formatted issue is there right so what we can do Let's copy this part and paste it. Okay, and now that we'll see now. Basically, it's a scripting language, right? Python. So there is no compilation time. You can identify. Okay, this is the issue, right? So here it is very difficult. That's why I took this code in the ID, and from that ID we'll test it, so that we can easily uh, remove that uh, all the error. Okay. Currently, chief execute officer, Teradata. What is this? Many things is came. Text, huh? official. Okay. Okay, let's pin the text part. So, many response, entire response we have pinned, right? So, it will be difficult to read, right? So, what we can do? So, if you check here, uh, the choice right choice is the array we have the text right so let's take the choice here so let's copy these choices and inside that what we have we zero first position right and let's take that what we want to take here we want to take text right so Let's copy this and now deploy. Now search. Now only text it will should print. See of the calendar Oliver Rajak. Oh, something is different name is given. Why? Let me do one thing here. One more thing. Do it. Uh, So this is how we can integrate, right? Anything, whatever prompt, whatever search we are giving here, right? In this particular section, whatever search we are giving, same search we can give here, so that from Chat GPT we can get it. So.
so whatever data they have right victory land is the data in that chat gpt in the open api whatever data they have so that is showing right if you search here like how to learn the cloud right so let me show you what is aws lm bd lambda something like that okay now deploy and search see here it is lambda is a serverless computer service offered by amazon website so lets you run code on demand and it's a response event drive scheduling without managing server something like that right so like this we can integrate aws lambda with the chat gpt and the code we can get from there from the api reference we can get here and then finally we can create a lambda and or whatever dependence we need that dependency we can integrate as a aws lambda layers and then a code uh, we can run either uh, based on event or uh, we can manually trigger also right so hope this session will help you guys like this is the latest shortest technology right chat gpt in this market now so that how we can integrate it with aws so i have shown you that so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you like this session then i will request you guys please do like my channel and share uh, subscribe my channel and share with your friend that will really inspire to me i will see you guys in my